Hello, my name is Dr Simon Freilich and I'm a consultant in clinical neurophysiology here at the Whittington Hospital. If you're watching this video, you've probably been referred to have an EEG or an electroencephalogram. This means a recording of the electrical activity of the brain to look for any signs of abnormality in how your brain is functioning. Don't worry, we can't read your thoughts, just how the brain cells interact and connect with each other. There are a number of reasons for doing an EEG. The most common reason is to check for signs of epilepsy. Epilepsy is a tendency to have seizures. This occurs when large groups of brain cells abnormally fire off their signals in synchrony. Patients can experience this in a number of ways. For example, losing consciousness, deja vu experiences, or most visibly having parts of the body shaking or jerking involuntarily. If the doctor, usually a neurologist or a paediatrician, suspects that a patient has epilepsy, they will usually request an EEG. The EEG can show signs of susceptibility to seizures. This can be really helpful to determine what type of epilepsy a patient has, what type of treatment is likely to be beneficial, and sometimes when treatment can be safely stopped. Other reasons for doing an EEG might include patients who are unusually drowsy, those with certain types of dementia, and certain movement disorders.